Hey YouTube, this is Scandalous D with a review for Housewives of Atlanta Season 6 Episode 1 entitled Bye Bye with the Wind. Starts off with Candy and Ty. They're having breakfast. She's cooking breakfast for them. And um, did you see her hair? Um, she looked like a red hot, flaming hot poodle with all that curly red hair. I do not like her hair. Now, I will say Candy don't look too bad with the red hair. The long, straight kind, but I prefer her hair long and black. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, her and Todd are having their um, a discussion about Cordell and Portia and their divorce. And uh, Todd says that he blames her, or that he he blames the women for uh, their divorce because before that she didn't want to have a convers she didn't want to have a career. She didn't want to, you know, she just wanted to be the stay at home mom and wife, but after she got on the show, she wanted a career and all of that. And um, that's not what they arranged or whatever. And Candy was just like, well, you know, um, he divorced her and it wasn't our fault, you know. She, you know, wanted that. It wasn't it wasn't our fault. But anyway, I think Todd, um, I think, I think uh, he realizes that the women had an influence on her, um, uh, on her wanting a career and maybe that she can't really think for herself a little bit. So maybe that's why she was just like, well, you know, I do want a career now. But, um, like I said before, Cordell is a queen. The way he, the way he, um, just divorced her on Twitter instead of going to her face to face to tell her they living in the same house. That's a queen move. Real men don't do stuff like that. I can't believe he did something like that. Um, but then we go to Nene and Greg now packing their wedding gifts. Did you see that wedding? The wedding was beautiful. And it seemed like Nene trying to have like a competition with Kim. Or maybe she just kind of have the same taste as Kim. Because they had this similar dress on made by the same designer. And then when they changed, uh, when Kim changed, she had on a white jumpsuit. Made almost just like when Nene changed and she had on a white uh, jumpsuit. So, I think, you know, that's a little bit shady how Nene wants to compete with her. But whatever, Kim's gone. I'm glad she's gone. Um, so, they're unpacking their gifts. Nate found out somebody gave her a Hermes plate. I'm just thinking, really? You know, she's all into designer. So, she's like, oh, my Hermes plate and all of this. And I'm just like. Whatever, Nene. Uh, we go to Cynthia, who is moving her agency to a place near Bar One. I'm so happy because I literally thought that she was going out of business or something. That, you know, she was closing it down. But they just moving it anyway. Kenya walks in and she just shades Kenya. I'm loving Cynthia this season so far and she was just like here go the coochie crack uh queen here she go right here and then here go king are we really on that still are we really and she confesses that she you know almost got evicted blah 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 this blah 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 that and how she um really feels some type of way because the women didn't come to her and then Cindy was like well I mean you burnt a lot of bridges she was like you you know through shade at Portia and Phaedra and King was just like, well, you know what? I wasn't talking about them. I just thought Candy and, you know, Nene and you would would uh, reach out to me. She was just like, well, we got our own stuff going on. And I'm like, King, you can't blame them for not coming to you. You know, you could have called them. You know, what are you complaining about? I mean, not like you're really homeless. But anyway, she says how she wants to have a new opening for her um her opening party how she wants everybody to come and um we go to Portia who is talking about the divorce and talking about how you know it's been so hard on her going to go see the same divorce the uh divorce attorney that Nene had and that um you know she just really wants to try to work it out if she can but that he, you know, really needs to make some changes. But she gives him a list of all the changes 
that he will make. And if he says yes to it, that she'll um, end up, you know, staying with them. But her, she goes to go see her mother. She's in tears and all this. And her mother and her sister are like, well, you know what? You got to let it go. You know, I really had a problem with him when you had your miscarriage. And how he didn't even come to see you. He only came to see you one day. And then he just... He didn't come back, and everybody's wondering if you even had a husband. And, you know, she was just going in, and, and Portia was just like, well, yeah, he wasn't very supportive. And, you know, even sometimes physically he wouldn't want me. I'm not saying, you know, he's gay. I'm not saying he's gay, but physically he didn't want me. And sometimes it wondered, you know, what did he want? And then he was like, not that I'm saying he's gay, but you are saying he's gay. Everybody knows Cordell is gay. I said that last season, but... A lot of people were like, oh, he's not gay just because he don't want her. I'm like, well, I, th I believe he's gay, but that's just my opinion. Um, and she says how she, you know, how he will lock her out the house sometimes when she didn't come home. At the time, he wanted her to come home. And I'm thinking, how is that even possible? Don't you have a key to your house? You know, or is he just having all the keys? You know, what's up with that? But I really do hope that this is a real divorce. And I hope that this is just not for TV. But we'll see how it plays out. Um. Oh, come to find out... Um. Her family also thought he was gay. They also had their suspicions. And, you know, I mean, the mama, she seemed like she was just like, yeah, he just wants you as a trophy wife. He don't really want you. He, and she was like, I did confront him about these allegations and that he he told me something that I was like, okay, okay. I don't know what he told her, probably that I'm gay, but I, I just want you to pretend to be my wife or whatever. But anyway, let's get to the main thing where Cynthia has a little get together. And then, um, you know, everybody's talking, everything. Kenya with her fake. Oh, I can't stand Kenya. But she comes in. Hi, hi, everybody. And then she just gives everybody a hug. She gives Portia's fake hug. And then she asks her about the divorce. And a lot of people were oh, she being sincere. I think she was being a little sincere, I must admit. But I do think she was being a little shady because she was like, well, did, you know, are, are you getting back together with him? Are you headed for divorce court? Asking her all these questions. And she was just like, well, I don't know. You know, I really just want to party right now. But yeah, I really don't want to get into it. And, and somebody, Candy, asked, Nene came in. Candy asked Nene, well, you know, did you see Ken? And Nene was like, who? And then, you know, that was just so funny because who who is Ken more anyway? And then, you know, she, you know, confronts Ken and Nene had this conversation. Ken was like, well, did you invite uh, Walter to your... um?" You know, when she was just like, yes, I did. She said, I invited you too, but you didn't come. And she was just like, well, no, I didn't come, you know. She was like, she was like, well, what's the problem? She was like, I just have a problem that you invited him. You didn't, you know, you're supposed to be my friend. Why did you invite him? She was like, well, if I got a problem, she said, if, if you got a problem with that, you need to get over it because, you know, Walter did nothing to me and Greg. He's friends with Greg. We invited him, and I can't. I wasn't worried about you and your feelings on my wedding day, and it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, this is Nene, and I'm a I'm a invite whoever I want to invite to my events, and she just walks away, and then Ken is just like, I'm not done with you. Yet. I'm not done with you yet. And she walks up to her, and she's just like, you know, you didn't come. You didn't call me when you found that I was evicted. She was like, it was a rumor. I didn't believe it was true. And then she tugs on Nene's ear and goes, listen, listen. You ain't, you need to listen. And Nene's like, look, I got to go pee. You want me to pee in your cup? You know, don't come to me. And then in her confessional, she's like, I know this chick is not, you know, you want me to come to you over some rumor? He says, surely you are not homeless. You are not homeless. You, Kenya Moore, who produced everything, have all these DVDs. You know, you were Miss USA, Miss uh, America, whoever you are. You are not homeless. You know, and, and she's just trying to come after her and everybody's trying to break it up. And then it just goes off. And then I was just like, Nene, I love you. I love you for reading Kenya because it is really unnecessary the way she was acting. She wants everything to be about her. If you ask me, Nene should have slapped the crap out of out of Kenya. 
Because there's no way you should touch somebody's ear. I don't care I, what uh, conversation you have. You don't touch anybody if you don't want them touching you. But um, that's how it went off. I can't wait to see the rest of the season. It looked like candy going to be popping off. I can't wait to see that. She was just like, I will drag you in here. I will drag you. And it looked like she went a little tipsy too. Looked like um, Candy Mama moved in. Big mistake. But anyway, she moved in. She got a problem with Todd. And um, I can't wait to see that come off. You know, Phaedra and Apollo, who I didn't mention. But um, they got drama with Kenya. You know, steady texting Apollo. And, you know, he looked like he don't mind. So I can't wait to see that. But anyway, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll be reviewing this every week. Follow me on Twitter at O's Midnight Love. And that's O-S underscore Midnight underscore L-U-V. And uh, follow me on Instagram at DrinkMeUp21. And I'll see you next week.